I'm Megan. And I'm Callie. And, and this, this is, is the PHS, PHS News. News. Did you hear about the DECA competition? Psh, did I? Here's a clip that tells a little bit more about that. Hi, I'm Will Aspel and I'm here with uh, Ms. Stevens, the leader and director of uh, DECA. Could you tell us a little about DECA? Well, DECA is an association of marketing students or any business students really who are interested in learning um, about entrepreneurship or business or um, management and um, we do community service projects, and we also compete. Good. Um, so how did you guys do in the latest competition? Um, I was so proud of my students. We took 45 um, competitors, and we came back with 31 um, state qualifiers. I competed in a team, sports and entertainment marketing, with Will Pierce. All right, and you made it to state, right? What place? I got fourth place, or we got fourth place. I okay. Well, where is state this year? State is in Chattanooga this year. All right, so what category did you compete in? I competed in quick serve restaurant management. Okay, and what kind of things did you have to do at the competition? Um, your score is divided into three parts if you're an individual, um, and so it's a 100-question multiple-choice test, which we took at Paige before we went, and then it's two role plays if you're an individual. Um, if you're a team event, it would just be one role play, but the role plays are kind of like just a fake interview or a fake business meeting. They present you with a situation, and you just have to work through it um, business-wise, I guess. I just want to tell all my kids who went with me um, last Tuesday, all 45, how proud I am of you, every one of you. You just represented Paige so incredibly well. You were professional, you were poised, you knew your stuff. I was very impressed and I was really, really proud. So I love all y'all. Thank you, Ms. Stevens. Back to you guys at the station. Come out to Franklin and support your Paige basketball team Saturday night. Girls varsity at three o'clock and boys varsity at 4.30. And after our boys and girls varsity games, the girls and alumni game is at 6 and the boys is at 7.30. Also, next Friday is senior night for the basketball team. And good luck to the wrestling team on their journey to state this weekend. Here's sports with some more on that. Hey, I'm Ryan Ellswick here with Coach Gray, the wrestling coach, and you guys just got done regions and you went 44 and 5, which is a school record. Uh, you have state coming up. How are you? How do you feel about that? I'm pretty confident as long as we can get everybody healthy, get our lineup straight, there's going to be a lot of strategy involved. We drew number one seed, Pigeon Forge. Uh, they actually finished second last year, but the defending champions, Red Bank, got beat. So it puts Pigeon Forge at number one. I'm very confident that we can actually give them a, a great match and possibly defeat them, putting us in the semis against the winner of Stratford and uh, Notre Dame. So it should be a tough turn. Do they have any key wrestlers or anything you're worried about that you guys are just going to have to really work against? And Pigeon Forge is a tough team, they're a tough program, great coach, and uh, Coach Foreman over there, he and I are uh, great colleagues with one another. We faced them last year in the semis, and uh, they defeated us, but I know they have an established program. They have some about six key weights. Those guys also match up with some of our strongest guys, Alec Filarowski, Nick Overstadt, John No, for example. So it just comes to who the better guy is that particular match. All right, thank you, Coach. And now for our talent of the week with this week's star, Diani Poole. Little girl, watching her reflection as she parts her curls. In two four sections She says I don't look like them I don't look like her And I don't want what's on my head But baby girl Don't be missing 